Welcome back! As you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy, here to, for your daily dose of the RARS as we talk about the stupid stuff going on in the world of technology. Do remember I do these videos in order to support Silicon Dojo, free hands-on technology education in Durham, North Carolina. Uh, if you can attend a class, think about going to SiliconDojo.com to see what our current schedule is. And with that, good news, good news, good news! We now are going to officially beat China in the AI war by selling them AI hardware? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's our policy? <laughs> could somebody, could somebody just explain to me what our policy actually is? One minute we can't sell anything to China, and then we're gonna sell China our fourth best AI hardware, and now we're gonna sell China like last generation's hardware. Because because this is a war, by God, and in war, you, 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 you need, need to do something, I guess. So anyways, this is kind of an interesting story. I'll be curious to see where this flushes out with NVIDIA and China. So under the Biden administration, there was something called the AI diffusion rule, where, the, where Biden basically tried to keep China from getting uh, AI hardware because, I don't know, <laughs> fill in the racist blank. Anyways, uh, then we got the Trump administration in, uh, and then they, they look like they're going to open up to sell AI hardware, and then they closed down to sell AI hardware, and then they said that NVIDIA could sell the eight, these things called the H20 chips, we're getting like fourth generation behind chips, um, but then they couldn't really sell the H20 chips, so now the Trump administration is saying they can sell the H200 chips, it's basically one generation behind the, the new chips that are coming out, and it is just... It's, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. What am I supposed to say? None of this makes a damn bit of sense. So the latest thing, the latest thing is that NVIDIA aims, aims, uh, to begin eight 200 chip shipments to China by mid-February. So these are supposed to be, you know, 10X or whatever better than the H20 chips. Trump administration is now allowing NVIDIA to sell them to China as long as long as NVIDIA greases Trump's palm uh, with a 25% kickback. What is that? A tax? A fee? A license? No, it's it's just a bribe. <laughs> Right? That's let's just let's just say this crap as it is. It's just a fucking bribe. They bribe Trump with 25% of their revenue for what they sell to China, and and Trump, quote unquote, allows them to sell to China as as things work in a free country. So, anyways, they are now NVIDIA is now saying that they're gonna start sending these shipments to China in mid-February. Uh, NVIDIA has told uh, Chinese clients it aims to start shipping its second most powerful AI chips to China before the Lunar uh, New Year holiday in mid-February, three people familiar with the matter told Reuters. The interesting thing to think about this too is again, remember Lutnik, Lutnik came out and very, very proudly stated that we would be selling them our fourth best AI chips, and now we're going to be selling them our second best AI chips, just, you know, if you're following the bouncing ball. It's very hard. It's a very bouncy ball. Uh, the U.S. chip maker uh, plans to fulfill initial orders from existing stock with shipments expected to total 5,000 to 10,000 chip models, uh, modules equivalent to about 40,000 to 80,000 H200 AI chips, the first and second sources said. I do think this is also interested, interesting just at the scale of this. Right, we've been told, we have been told that, that China getting AI is an existential threat to the United States. So when you, when you, hear, when you hear that the Trump administration is allowing NVIDIA to sell uh, H200 chips, second best chips to China, you know, there, you could say that could be mitigated by selling a limited number of those chips. Look, we're, we are going to allow them to buy a thousand H200 chips to, to, sh to show them how good our supply is to get them addicted or whatever else. And you might, you might be like, well, they are the second best chip, but it is only like a thousand or two thousand. So again, when you, when you look at the quantities involved in order to train models or whatever else, I guess that's fine, right? It's, a, it's enough to give them a taste. It's enough to get them addicted. It's not enough to, to actually do something valuable. No, they're they're selling forty to eighty thousand of these fuckers. Forty to eighty thousand of these GPUs, just the H two hundreds. 
And so you're like, okay, so you're selling the second best AI chips in quantities that are high enough to actually do something useful. So again, as I've asked many times before, what is our policy anyways? Uh, let's see here. NVIDIA uh, has also told Chinese clients that it plans to add new production capacity uh, for the chips uh, with orders for that capacity opening in the second quarter of 2026. Significant uncertainty remains as Beijing has yet to approve any H200 purchases and the timeline could shift depending on government decisions, the sources said. This will also be interesting with the H200 chips, right? Because Beijing, at Beijing at this point, you know, see, sees value in decoupling from the U.S. AI architecture. So before, before uh, Trump, quote unquote, allowed NVIDIA to sell H200, H20 chips to China, and then China just said no. The Chinese government just came in and said, no, don't buy any of these chips. And so in pretty short order, we're only talking about four or five months here, uh, we went from Lutnik being very proud to, uh, to saying we'd sell China our fourth best AI chips to now, to now, right? They're cowed, they're cowed. They're actually dealing with somebody that pushes back, right? They're, they are used to using F-35s to go after fucking speedboats. That's the kind of warfare Trump is very interested in, right? And so the interesting thing here is, is China says no to the H-20s and now they get the ability to buy H-200s. Right, if China, if just China just sticks to their guns and says no again, it would be interesting if they'll be able to get the, the full-fledged Blackwell chips uh, as they're produced. Basically, if they just simply say, no, we're not, we're not gonna buy H200s at all, we're not going to allow it to happen, it will be curious to see how much leverage uh, they'll get. Because think about this, again, when you're talking about 40, uh, 40 to 80,000 of these chips, God knows what that price point is, that's billions and billions and billions of dollars on the table. What if China just says no? Uh, quote, the whole plan is contingent on government approval. Quote, nothing is certain until we get the official government go ahead. Trump's decision comes as China pushes to develop its, uh, its domestic AI chip industry. Local firms have yet to match the H200's performance, raising concerns that allowing imports could slow domestic progress. Uh, Chinese officials held emergency meetings earlier this month to discuss the matter and are weighing whether to allow shipments. Reuters reported this month, one proposal would require each H200 purchase to be bundled with a set ratio of domestic chips. So that's the type of thing that China does a lot, right? If you want, if you want this thing from the Western world, you also got to buy this stuff from China. Again, it, it keeps the demand for the Chinese chips going. Uh, for Chinese technology giants such as Alibaba Group and ByteDance, which have expressed interest in buying H200 chips, the potential shipments could provide access to processors roughly six times more powerful than H20, a downgraded chip uh, NVIDIA designed for China. So there we go. We will, I don't know, we'll see what happens. What am I supposed to say? I think that's the thing. Like under the Biden administration, right? Biden may have been our first dead president, but, but you, you could follow the bouncing ball because that ball was just really not bouncing <laughs> that fast. Some could question whether, whether the ball was even bouncing under the Biden administration. <laughs> Right, it was pretty. You could you could see exactly what Biden was doing, and then you can make commentary on exactly what Biden was doing. On the Trump administration, who the hell knows? Who the hell knows what's going on right now? Um, so yeah, so we literally we do not know what will happen in the future. Will will China be banned completely from our AI hardware, or are they going to be buying our best AI hardware by the shipping container full uh, within the next six months? L literally, the question is who the ever loving hell knows, especially with all the other things going on in the macro environment world. Uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna find out, I guess. So what do you think about this? What do you think about NVIDIA aiming to start sending H200 chips to China in mid-February? Do you think China is going to allow it? Do you do you understand Trump's Trump's policies? Are you like Eli? Eli! Eli! What you have to understand about Trump's policies is. Put your thoughts, put your thoughts down below. Do you remember I do these videos in order to support Silicon at Dojo, uh, free hands-on technology education in Durham, North Carolina. If you're interested in attending a class, go to silicondojo.com to see what our current schedule is. If you want to help support free and user education, there's a donor box link down below. And with that, I'm going to go have a nervous breakdown.